Welcome back to Advanced Programming Concepts Using C++. Alex Louie here. We're about to get into the fun stuff, pointer variables. One of my favorite parts of teaching the C++ language because it's so difficult to learn, but once you pick it up, you can probably do anything in programming, really, or understand any language, really. Okay, so we're going to learn about pointer variables and how to declare them, how to use them, the nitty-gritty details of how they work. And then we're going to go into arrays. So we're going to split this lecture into a couple parts. Okay. All right. So uh, it's useful for me to, to show you a actual program first and then explain everything as to what's going on. Okay. So as you see here, this is a simple program where I've assigned a variable called X. I've assigned it 25. This thing here is what it what is a pointer. Okay, so this is this is a pointer to an integer. This star sign, this star asterisk is not an asterisk. It's called an indirection operator. Okay. It's an indirection operator. That's what it's called in C++. So you'll never find me saying, oh, this asterisk, or I can say this pointer. And what this means is that we are defining a pointer to an integer. A pointer to an integer. This pointer is going to have its own address, but that's not really too important. What's important is you understand is that this thing can point to an integer variable. And that's what we're doing on line eight is we are going to point to the address of X. So as you've seen in my previous videos, the, the ampersand means the, that's the address of operator. So what we're saying is pointer is pointing to the address of X. Okay. And then Whatever is in the value of x is always going to be 25. And then the address of x is going to be pointer. So a couple of things that are going on here, and I really want to break this down for you in detail. Because showing you this stuff, it's just going to fly over your head. So let's, uh, let's, let's do this. Let's go over here. OK. We're going to do this line by line. Now, in the C++ language, when you declare X, you are basically declaring a box. And we're labeling it X. Right? And this X is somewhere in RAM. X has a numeric address. It could be something in hex could be X. Uh, 07B. That's the location in RAM of where X is. Cool. We know that. Now, when we assign the value 25, we can just say, we're just saying that we have a little box, and in this little box, we have 25. Now, here is where the confusion is going to start happening. When you declare a pointer variable with the indirection operator, you're basically declaring a variable itself, right? So this is, we're going to say that this is a pointer, OK? And this actually is not pointing to anything currently when, 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 we, when we declare it. So we can say that it's pointing to null. And we're going to get to that in a little bit. But for now, we just know that when we, when we declare it over here, OK, when we declare that, it's not pointing to anything, but it is an integer pointer. Okay, the arrow has to point to an integer. Okay, meaning that our variable needs to point to an integer. Now, this next line over here, okay, means that we're going to take this arrow and we are going to point it to the address of x. So we said that the address of x is 
zero seven B. Let me make that a little bit clearer. Okay, so I would say hexadecimal zero seven B, which is the address. Let's do this. The address of X. Okay. This is pointer PTR. That's what we just did. Now, what does that get us? It gets us the following. It means that the value of pointer in terms of just the address of it is now X07B, right? Where pointer also has its own address, so it could be something like um, X08F, right? But that doesn't matter because what we want to do is we want to use this pointer to point to addresses of variables. In this case, we're pointing to an integer variable. So if the if pointer, the value of pointer is the address, right? So pointer is equal to X07B. You see, that's the value. How do I print out the actual value that it's pointing at? Meaning that, yes, we're assigning PTR to point to the address of X. But I also want to have the ability to print out that value. So by me doing the indirection operator, okay, I can print out the value 25. Okay, so we're going to get into this in a little bit. So just a simple example is we print out X, you know what that is, X is 25. But printing out PTR variable without the indirection operator is just going to print out the, the address of what it's pointing at, which means that whatever is in this little box, X is 07B, that's what it's going to print out. So let's go back to our, to our program so we see this in action, okay? So I'm going to clear this and then now I'm going to just print this out. See that? So by me printing PTR, okay, by me printing PTR, I'm printing out the location that it's pointing to. Okay. Now, if I did the following, Let's take this we're going to use the address operator. Let's take a look at that. You see that they match, right? They match. Because the with the address of operator, it's giving me the address of X. And then PTR is a pointer variable. With pointer variables, it's a little different. You don't have to print out. You don't have to put the, the address of operator. Because if you put the address of operator, it's actually going to give you where the allocation of pointer is. So if we go back to our program here, Pointer, right, if we see it over here, has its own address, which is 0, 8, F, or something like that, right? I'm just kind of making that up. Okay, so uh, initial, initial concept is the pointer variable, when you assign it, like you're doing over here, I'm going to put the number here, in 1, okay? When you assign it in 1, First of all, you have to assign it an address of, okay? So you can't do, you can't do PTR is equal to X. That's no good. Okay. You got to assign it an address. Okay. So you assign it an address of X. That means that the value of PTR is X zero seven B, which is the address of X, which we talked about, right? When we allocated int, in direction pointer a pointer right it had its own address but we're not going to concern ourselves with the address of pointer we just want to concern ourselves with what it's pointing at 
And in this case, it's pointing at the address of x, okay? Which means that PTR is holding a reference to x, okay? It's holding a reference to x. Because its value of PTR, what, it, what, is, what is stored in that little box, okay? What's stored in that little box is the address of x. In this case, is x is 0, 7, b. Okay. Okay. Hold that thought. I'm going to go into the next video and we're going to talk about, okay, so you can print out PTR, but what if I want to print out the value of pointer, right? Meaning that what is it pointing at? We're just now printing out addresses, but now we can also, we also have the ability to print out or access the value of that integer. Okay. And we're going to go over that in a little bit. So I'll see you on the next video.